Hello everyone and welcome to the Bare Bones Fishing YouTube channel. My name is Mike. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today I've got my little fishing buddy. You want to look up at the camera? Mm -hmm. uh, hi, my little fishing buddy Juniper. And we're out here in beautiful Long Point, Ontario, trying to get onto some perch. Oh, we got one, we got one, look at that. And we've only been out here a couple minutes and we've already had quite a bit of action. So let's get to it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, you got a good one. All right, so we're... <laughs> I got four now. You got four now already. We missed the first few. All right, we're gonna keep this one to bring home? Yeah. I think we can keep this one. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Really yep. Yeah. Oh, I got my cutting board in there. Let's get that out of there. Good job, oh. sweetie. Oh, there, Dad has got one. Daddy? Ooh, that's a little bit Daddy of a better one, eh? One. Yeah, I don't know about a humongous one. We're gonna keep this one. Yeah, we're. Yeah. Okay. It's so good. Yeah. I think that one's that one's borderline, but we're gonna keep that one. Good job, sweetie pie. Look at that. Oh, I got one. Oh yeah. Good. Reel it in. Reel it in. That's a good one. No. Oh, there we go. I think we keep this one too. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. There we go. Nice. All right. <laughs> She's taking a little break with her stuffed animal. <laughs> oh, you do. You got one. Can you take it off yourself? What do you think? Oh, lost it. Can't? I think we're going to let this one go, eh? Yeah, because it's good now. Oh, yeah. There you go. No, I think this one, oops, Daisy, we're gonna throw we that one back. No, that one's a little small. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No way. No way. Here you go, oh. one. <laughs> okay, you bring it over to Dada. Oh my goodness. It's, we should let this one go. Yeah, we're gonna let that one go. Now. Yeah, he's pretty tiny. I'm gonna call him Mimi. I got one. one, I got yeah, one. I Oops. One go yeah, we're gonna let this one go. Yep, yeah, we're gonna. I said pretty one, but it's pretty We're gonna. You do! <laughs> <laughs> we should have let this one go because it's those. Yeah, we're gonna let that guy go. Another one. Look at that. Look at that monster. You go and you go and you go and nice. I think we should let this one go. Yeah, we're gonna let him go. Yep. Yeah, and I'm 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 gonna have a I'm gonna have a break. You're gonna have a break? Okay, you just put your fishing rod right there. Yep, did you so you do want to keep fishing for a little bit? Yeah. You got one. No, did you get off? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you still got your minnows though, so you can put it you can go back down. Yep. I'm gonna let this guy go. Get your minnow back. Yes, we can. Oh, there's one we might keep that one. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Look at that. There you go. That's a better one. That's a better one. Another little guy. I, I do. I, I do want to catch some fish. My, my break time is over. Okay, sounds good. Okay, yeah, we had a little, little guy here. Very little guy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's let him go. Okay. Ooh, there we go another better one and now we have to get that yeah we're gonna keep that one actually you know what we're gonna just keep that open his dad is not standing up there uh, 
GoPro start recording? Yeah, we're gonna let that one go. GoPro start recording. GoPro start recording. GoPro. <laughs> Not rowboat. <laughs> So at this point in the outing, I actually started splitting the minnows in half. And that's a really good way to stretch out the, the minnows that you might have. And you'll see that it didn't matter. The half a minnow worked perfectly fine. Okay, so how did we go about finding the perch on this day? So I know from years experience that at this time of year, perch like to pile up in certain areas. And so let's just say on the left-hand side, the red circled area, that's the kind of the general spot where fish will, will be found. And whether that's because of a, a weed bed or just where the bait fish are, whatever the case may be, that's where they generally are at this time of year. And so let's say that the wind is blowing from the upper right hand corner to the bottom left hand corner of the, of the map. So what I'll generally do is set up on the upwind side of this area and I'll drop anchor or put on spot lock and I'll fish there for about 10 to 15 minutes. And if we're catching them, great. And if not, what I'll do is I'll pull up the anchor or I'll turn off spot lock and then we'll drift downwind for maybe, uh, you know, maybe a, a minute or two. And then I will put the spot lock and the anchor down again and we'll try that spot. And then if we're catching them, great. If not, we'll do the same thing. We'll just keep moving down and down and down through that area just kind of letting the wind push us through as we go and hopefully usually I'll be able to find fish by doing that and if I get to the end of the area that I want to fish and I still haven't picked anything up what I'll do is I will take the big motor I'll rip back up to the upwind side but I will change the direction of my drift so I don't want to obviously go over that same area I want to change the area a little bit and I essentially just keep repeating this process until I find a big school of perch. And once we do, that's where we set up and ride out the rest of the day. Oh, there we go. That's, oh, it felt better. No, we're going to let him go. We'll let him go to fight another day. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that's a better one. Okay, so there you have it, everybody. Another episode of Barebones Fishing in the Books. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Love catching perch at this time of year. And if you've got some buddies along with you, it is a great way to keep them occupied because the numbers are insane. So anyways, hope you're all doing well. Catch you on the next one.